So here we have a problem. Problem statement says, a train 200 meter long crosses a pole in 20 seconds. What is its speed? As we all know, train is a long vehicle. So suppose if this is the train and assume that this is the track. So let me color this train. So suppose this is the train, right? And what they are saying about its length? They are saying that the length of the train is 200 meters, right? This is the length of the train. And then what they say? A train 200 meters long crosses a pole in 20 seconds. So suppose if this is the pole, I'm taking the top view of the pole. So since the width of the pole is very small compared to the length of the train, so we can represent the pole as a point and we will not consider its width. Why? Because it is negligible in comparison to the length of the train, right? So if this is the pole and what they are saying, it takes 20 seconds to cross the pole. That means if this pole is in alignment with the head or the this front portion of the train, to cross this pole, it has to travel a distance equal to the length of the train. That means this train, which is right now over here, this has to come till here when it crosses the pole. And now let me color this new position in blue. So this was the original position and the train has to come till here. And what is the length of the train? Length of the train is 200 meters. That means for this front portion to come till here, it has to travel a distance of 200 meters. Then only the train will be able to cross this pole completely. This is the pole, right? So what is the speed? What is speed? Speed is distance by time. What is the distance over here? Distance over here is 200 meters and time is 20 seconds. Isn't it? So if we don't consider these units, these are the two numbers where these zeros will get cancelled. Two ones are two, two ones are two and zero. So this will be 10 meters per second, right? So 10 meters per second is the speed of the train. But what they have asked? They have asked for the speed in kilometers per hour. So to convert this 10 meters per second, we have to convert these meters into kilometers and we know one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters or one meter is equal to one by thousand kilometers, right? Similarly, one hour is equal to 3600 seconds or you can say one second is equal to one by 3600 hours right so to convert this 10 meters per seconds first we have to convert this meter into kilometers so it will become 10 multiplied by 1 meter is 1 by 1000 kilometers so 1 by 1000 divided by 1 second is equal to 1 by 3600 hours. So this will be equal to 10 by 1000 multiplied by since this fraction is in division that means 
we can multiply this numerator by the inverse of 1 by 3600 right so it will become multiplied by 3600 divided by 1 right so this 0 will cancel this 0 and these two zeros will cancel these two zeros and this will be 36 kilometer per hour right so what is the speed of the train speed of the train is 36 kilometers per hour